Hello, and welcome to episode seven of Kelly's Briars. Um, today we're going to talk about some saddlebreds and flashes and winter songs. We'll start from here. Here's some saddlebreds. We've got the Silver Filigree, um, the JH guy, Odyssey, Duke, Regular Run, a bunch of flashes, including the um, Bay Pinto from Briarfest this year, and some of the stable mates, um, some G2 Clydesdales. You might notice too the black Clydesdale is really yellowed. He was from my my old house, um, which was lit with fluorescent lighting, much like this room. Uh, only in that place, I kept the lights on all the time because it was my studio, and, um, so the dogs can run around and everything. And unbeknownst to me, when I went to pack them up, I realized they were all yellowed. So keep them out of fluorescent lights, um, especially the new plastic stable mates, the ones that um, aren't made from cellulose acetate because once they're yellowed, you really can't fix them. They don't um, lighten in the sunlight or anything. So anyway, back to the flashes. And here's some winter songs. Um, I have all the winter songs except for Saltier. Still missing that guy. Some G2 Saddlebreds. And some more winter songs and some G3 Tennessee Walkers. A bunch of my Nan ribbons. Um, Nationals is in Harrisburg next year, so pretty excited. I haven't shown since, I think, 2006 at the National Show. Yeah, because I judged in 2008, 10, and then this year. So Anyway, on to the fighters. Um, missing the flocky alabaster like circus set. Um, the 93... Special Run Bay from um, Toys R Us. Refused to get another bay. I have four of them, two from upstairs, and then these two guys. The one on the right has really nice eye whites and factory black ear tips. Isn't that cool? Awesome. And I'm also missing the Florentine and the um, Gold Charm Pinto Judges model. There's the rest of my fighters and some Clydesdales. A Shire B and some of my Morgan mares, some of my Morgan mares, including my blossoms. There's Carnival on the right. Down here, I've got a bunch of duchesses. I'll talk about the five gators in a second. And some of my G1 draft horses and G3 thoroughbreds and mules. Um, the shelving was purchased at Borders when they went out of business, which was really awesome. Not that they went out of business, but um, sometimes when places go out of business, you can find some really unique shelving items. <laughs> um, they were actually dividers for, for books. All right, back to the five gators. There's Gala, um, Firefly, a bunch of old favorites. Hang on one second. Luca, get out of here. It's, um, you have an intruder. Luca, my beagle, has entered my studio. Hang on, sorry about that. Um, she hears me talking and she thinks I'm talking to her. And there's a wood green five gator who really needs his ear tips fixed. And a couple sorrel five gators. The one on the left is glossy. Um, the one in the middle is a really nice mint example. And the one on the right is one that I've had since I was maybe um, five or six. So, and illusions. And it's a couple schlikes. Um, Star Wars figurines. Tauntaun, anyone? Um, some foals. A couple bouncers. Go down here. There's some Passos. Some G1 Arabian Stallions. And some um, cigars. I actually don't have the regular run cigar, but I've got all of his friends. Not all of them, but some of them. San Domingo's. I actually really like the San Domingo mold. Um, to show him, he does good as a does well as a grade cross or a grade stock cross. Um, doesn't really like any look like any specific breed, but he just looks like a nice backyard horse. Some thoroughbred mares and some more stable mates. Some really wonderful um, shelving courtesy of Borders again. Here, Hala, and Mystery Fool, and some stuff I haven't bothered to unbox yet. 
All right, we're gonna talk about the guys that are way up here. Um, for reference, the last video I did was here and these are just in the top shelf and I forgot them. Um, lots of ec extra shelf space, which is awesome. Right, we have some jet runs, some stormies, ambers, and Shetland ponies. much to say about them other than most of them are pretty old. We're gonna get down here and talk about a couple more classics. Um, we have classic swaps and I didn't bother to put these guys in chronological order but the first one and the third one are actually the same in the same release. The third one in is a really neat like olive shade of chestnut. Um, he's a really early early release. He shows pretty well. Down further, we have a couple more swaps and terrains. And lots more terrains and some Kelsos. It's, it's really dark down here. Um, I like my bay terrains. They're actually all the same release, but they're all a little bit different. A couple more Kelso models. And Briar no longer uses these, these particular classic molds. They do use the Ruffian ones, um, those guys. But as far as like Silky Sullivan, Man of War, Kelso, Swaps, and Terang, um, they were all released from the California pottery company, Hagen Reinecker, and uh, they're no longer used through Briar. So even the bodies are tough to come by if you're repainting. And a couple of fears. And I think that's it. Um, we still have a fair bit to cover down here. Um, next time we'll talk about some silvers, cannering Walshes, and we'll see how much further back we get. We talk some about some Prouder mares and some Clydesdales. All right, until next time.